Hello, it's Jason Payne for Coal Banker, Dan Harper Realtors. Today I'm with the community of the village at Mill Creek in Seguin, Texas. This is an all Perry Homes community, and I'm out here because I have a buyer from Virginia. He's 100% VA disabled, and he's looking to buy in the area. I've done a video tour of the house. I haven't made it public yet because he doesn't have it on a contract, but that's one of those things we're working on today. But before we sign anything, I definitely want him to be having all the information available because yeah, that's how I've built my business on is giving all the information. So we're gonna do a motorcycle tour of the community and going down 46, just so you know kind of where we are in the New Braunfels slash Seguin area so he can make the right decision for him and his family. All right, I got the jacket on already. Let's go ahead and gear up and uh, do, go for a ride, <laughs> a realtor ride. All right, we're going to start the tour at the entrance. Um, you kind of see those silos up there. That's the original section of the village of Mill Creek. You do have 46 just down there. They are working on the road here. So eventually what we're seeing right here will be the road. And it's going to be much smoother than what we got right now. But we're on Rudolph. I always call it Rudolph. But Rudolph. Rudolph. Off. Um, but yeah, just look on the map for Rudel off and let's go ahead into the community here. Uh, this community does have uh, 50 foot wide lots and 65, 60 foot lots, not 65. But there's a lot of inventory homes. There's one that's right there that's available. And uh, I've been doing this for a while. I know Perry does not like sitting on completed homes. So there's another one that's available. So they are, I was just talking to the guy who kind of signs off on the prices. There's another one that's available. Some beautiful homes. Here's another one. But uh, yeah, this is deal season right now. So if you're ready to pull the trigger, we've there's there's another beautiful home right there that's available. They've got some some great deals, and uh, yeah, there and it's a uh, it's a really great time of year to buy. Remember, it's going to take like a month to close, anyways. So, and builders also have a slideshow presentation. They've got to talk to their execs, and Barry's based out of Houston. Here's another house I believe that is available. Um, but they they need to show units move right now, and they're, they've got a lot available. So, I'm gonna have a list of what's available as far as on the 60 foot lot side. There's another one. So, I do like this community. I always tell people this is the best bang for the buck Perry home community but there's really not much right around here um, there's nothing if you're in New Braunfels and the Texas Hill countryside it's um, there's another one that's available then there's just um, there's a lot more charm to it there's not a ton of charm to this neighborhood because as you can see right now, we're just in a big old empty cow pasture. We're on the, what I call the grassy plain side of I-35. And from here, it's a 19 minute drive to get to like downtown New Braunfels. So it's not bad, um, but I also want to caution you, uh, if you are going to be building on the side of I-35, um, foundation issues, there's another beautiful home is always a concern that's why you want to go with a builder that's got a great reputation of doing like those soil samples checking things out and making sure they're building that foundation strong enough to stand up you don't want to get st stuck with the lowest cost builder that's gonna frankly half-ass a bunch of stuff and then you'll come back to regret it later but perry does build um quality homes they do good foundation work and I believe we are in now the 50 foot wide section. So the houses are going to be a little bit more narrow. <clears throat> but I've got a list of everything that's available. So yeah, if you want to get like prices on there, feel free to reach out to me. All my contact information will be at the end of this video. And I'm sorry, this video might be a little bit long because I do want to go outside this community and showcase... Uh, there's the model homes. We're not going to drive right by the model homes. But if you're looking for a model home community, always look for the big uh, Texas and American flag. There's the Meadows at Meadows of Mill Creek. That's what this new section is called. Instead of the village, it's the Meadows at Mill Creek. All right, let's head on out. 
and we're gonna go towards 46 and we're gonna start making our way toward New Braunfels there's another really nice community that's a great bang for the buck especially tax rate I think it's like 1.45 uh, the meadows at Mill Creek tax rate you're at 1.91 so that's still really really low and uh, it's a great bargain but like I said you're out here a bit um, you're not far from getting to there's there's what they called the mills there and these homes used to be the Perry model home and yeah you do have some cornfields out here but this is where they're expanding the road uh, there's a Lutheran University uh, if you head left heading west on 46 um, and it's easy to get to everything in downtown Seguin but I personally really like the New Braunfels area and this really is kind of a straight shot to get to New Braunfels and this area right now there's not much out here but things are growing and everything's kind of spreading out this direction so if you're looking for like a longer haul play there's definitely some great value in here they're doing some construction here so let me hit pause for a second all right we're moving now uh, i also want to point out you do have i-10 just over that way and you got really good access to the toll road that kind of spits you out right by the tesla factory in uh, south austin and i timed that one day and that's a 45 minute drive from this community to the tesla factory so if you've got a job lined up at the tesla factory and you saw some of the prices of homes in austin it's like holy crap i'm not doing that but you don't mind taking the toll road uh, up there driving like 85 90 miles an hour on the toll road to get to that community to get to tesla from here that's definitely something to be consideration because yeah if you can get a, a beautiful home for 525 550 and it's a 45 minute drive i know a lot of people on the west coast are like shoot 45 minute drive that's an easy one let's go all right we're coming up onto 46 46 goes uh going this way heads into new Braunfels. Going to my left goes into Seguin. Like I said, this is definitely a long play type investment because they are planning on doing some expansion on 46, uh, especially as you get closer to New Braunfels. And there's going to be like a, currently the plan is to kind of build a bridge even going over I-35 from 46. So there's a lot of wheels in motion because they know this area is definitely growing and uh one of those questions i get all the time is like crime stats i always want you to look up those them yourself but in my opinion this is a very safe area um just just because it it is but do look do your own due diligence look it up but i do like this area a little more of a small town feel but you've got easy access to everything oh uh, if you like a meat market, uh, Pinch Horns is my favorite meat market. It is a 15 minute drive down 78 and you're looking at maybe a 20 to 30 minute drive from here to Randolph Air Force Base. Also straight down 78 which is just that way. That's the way I come from Shirts, Texas to this area. Alright, we're now on 46. Make sure my motorcycle tells me I'm still recording because yes, my Triumph Tiger 900 does have a feature to uh, control my GoPro from the motorcycle, which is pretty damn cool. All right, there are other communities that are building on uh, 46 here. And we're gonna go past them as we head up towards New Braunfels. Got a nice uh, church there, Living Water Church. And like I said, a bunch of just open fields. Oh, I hope the wind isn't uh, messing with the sound too much. Because when you get to these open things, you do get some wind. Not West Coast wind coming off the Pacific. This, that, this is a lot different wind. But you can tell there's a lot of room to grow out here. Here comes our next, our first community on our left. 
this is a new Chessmar community. And I've done one video tour of uh, of that community. I don't know, it's four something. Oh, Three Oaks. So that's the Three Oaks community. Got Chessmar in there, and they're also one of my favorite builders. And we're kind of now we're entering into like New Braunfels area, of course, like New Braunfels limits. More and more stuff coming. Uh, convenience store there, Fishers. But yeah, I'm trying to work with my little mic inside the helmet, but hopefully the wind isn't making this whole thing pointless. And speaking of pointless, I know these videos of motorcycle tours really don't get a lot of traction, but I don't do these videos to be like some YouTube person. I do these videos to provide information. And the few people that do watch these motorcycle tours, they've always gotten back to me and told me how much they appreciate that. And talk about things are coming. Like, good God, look at all these builder signs. Everybody's building out here. More, ooh, ooh, I didn't realize I was in fourth gear. There we go. That's the hazard of trying to do uh, videos while riding. You some, there's a lot of stuff in my head. All right. There are some communities with builders that I'm not big fans of. Those are like the super budget builders. So if you're in the grassy plain side, like I mentioned earlier, be aware of who your builder is. If you got a good builder, Chessmar is definitely one of those good builders. Um, but there are some really budget builders out here, which you could have some foundation problems down the road. Oh, I see Aston Woods is going to be building a community up here. And I'm not going to name any names of builders I don't recommend, but there they go. Just drive by one of them. I understand there is a place for those builders if everything's budget driven, but I've heard so many horror stories uh, about foundation issues with some of these budget builders and then trying to get them to come out to fix it and the nightmare of that but as you notice there's not a ton of traffic here on 46 you're not going to get deadlocked but you do have some stop lights RV storage there but yeah I'm able to do 55 miles per hour heading towards New Braunfels Last time I was doing a search, it showed uh, a 19-minute drive to get from uh, that community, uh, Mill Mills Creek, to get to New Braunfels. So we're going to test it out a little bit. Uh, Mills Creek is in... Ah, uh, oh crap. Now I'm brain farting on what the school district is. It is not Comel ISD. But it is another, it is a good school district. Cemetery, uh, another community coming. But you can see there's got some older stuff out here, but not a whole lot of commercial stuff. So if you're looking for your grocery store, your HEB, there is one up here. Uh, at the end when we get to I-35 there is a grocery store all this other stuff is available to you once you get to like the New Braunfels area or you can always go into Seguin to do that too uh, so it's kind of deciding which direction you want to go I just like New Braunfels but if this seems like it's a difference of driving this far to get to everything Remember that those the same Perry homes that are out in Mill Creek uh, or the meadows of Mill Creek there You're looking at probably a hundred thousand dollars less Expensive than say if you were on the other side of I-35 in a place like Veramindi um, So it all depends on what you're looking for If you're looking for a really quality builder but you don't mind driving a little bit, man, you can save yourself a ton of money by going to uh, Mill Creek there. Because right now, like I mentioned before, they are, they're discounting these homes a lot. Let's see, is this Legacy Lake Dunlap coming up? 
I think it is. Which that's another community. No, that's the KB community. Legacy of Lake Dunlap is right around here. If I haven't passed it already, I don't think I have. But that's another community and Legacy of Lake Dunlap. Eventually, if there it is, coming up on a, on our left here. Yeah, there's Legacy of Lake Dunlap. It's going to be about half the distance towards New Braunfels than what uh, Mills Creek is. But you do have Toll Brothers, you do have Perry building in there, Monticello building in there. But currently the tax rate in there is like 1.46, so crazy low taxes. I am going to be doing some more videos in uh, Legacy Lake Dunlap for some of my buyers that are coming in from the west coast they're looking for some investment properties and man that might be a deal for the one guy he's getting ready to build his big two million dollar house in vintage oaks and looking for a place to uh, a bargain and that might be a really good bargain if he doesn't mind driving to this side of 35. but as we're coming into stuff uh uh, Clear Springs uh, fish restaurant there, man. Clear Springs is uh, really super popular. I ate in there one day, man. Their uh, their seafood's really good. I had some of their fried fish and it was delicious. But as you can see, uh, you drive through a few cow pastures and it's not too far to get to basically civilization on this side. But yeah, that Clear Springs restaurant that anybody living in either like Legacy Lake Dunlap or Mills Creek. Oh, Custom Granite Place. Oh, well, that's another thing. If you're getting a house built or if you're buying a pre-existing house and it does not have granite, please don't go through like Lowe's or Home Depot. We've got so many granite restaurants, I mean granite shops here that can cut your own slab and you can save a lot of money by going through those versus a national chain uh, big box store All right, trust me we are getting closer to I-35 <coughs> Pardon me And once we do that you're gonna see this where everything is uh, Sometimes people come through New Braunfels and they only see the New Braunfels from I-35 and they don't see the Texas Hill Country side of New Braunfels and it is such a contrast between the big urban sprawl stuff that's all along 35 and, but if you go west towards Meyer Ranch you get some gorgeous Texas Hill Country but like I mentioned earlier the prices it's so much more desirable place to be but you're gonna be paying for it uh, as far as the price of the home oh then a meat market there we do like our meat markets here in this part of Texas. Ben Torrance is my go-to there in Marion. Oh, another strip mall coming in. Shoot, I didn't look at the time when we started this. Judge how long it takes you to get to this area. Ooh, if you are visiting New Braunfels, right in the downtown area, see the sign for muck and fuss oh my gosh that is my favorite like gourmet hamburger place they're not the cheapest but wow you want a uh, amazing burger muck and fuss is the place I always recommend people to stop by so yeah hopefully you're seeing some value in what I do and you decide hey this realtor guy on a motorcycle he knows way too much about this area and maybe I should text him and reach out to them because all these builders they do pay my commission so and they don't lower the price if you don't hey look a nail salon surprise prize uh, living in the shirt Sybil area we've got a running joke of hey something new is coming in let me guess it's gonna be a nail salon or a donut shop and sure enough more nail salons and donut shops all right you can see I-35 right in front of us so if you're needing to go to Austin, uh, you do still have easy access, but just by coming up 46 and uh, then heading north on 35 that way. 
But I wanted to shoot this video. I know it's not an exciting video, but there's just so much growth going on with those communities we passed already on 46 on like the grassy plain side of 46. If you don't want I'm don't know exactly what I'm talking about, pull up like Google Maps and you can literally see the uh, dark side. Look at the color and you can see on the, the about a mile west of 35 everything's darker green well i'm at my house i was putting the video together and i realized the last few minutes the video got cut off and i don't want to drive all the way back out to new Braunfels to redo it but you didn't really miss much i was just stuck in traffic you could literally see i-35 from where the video cut off so that kind of gives you information that i wanted to pass on to my buyer who's getting ready to pull the trigger on a beautiful home there in mill creek and it's going to be a hell of a deal once we get it all put together but i wanted him to know the distance between that community and new Braunfels because yeah i'm built a business of providing all the information and if you're looking for a real estate agent that kind of goes above and beyond at least i think so uh about providing all the information i can to my clients so they can make the best decision for them and their family feel free to reach out to me my contact information will be at the end of this very long video and i uh, hope you found that informative if you did hit that like button subscribe to my channel and as always share these videos with your friends and family all right take care now bye